Okay, Tom, finally. Did you see the newest, newest return of the Dragon Isles leak? This one is the best one yet. I still think they're all leaks, but this one literally is like something I was thinking, like legit. And I'm like, oh, this feels... I would be down for this because this is like exactly what I'm hoping for. Yeah, let me see when it was posted. Oh, it just says January. Oh, literally today. So that would have been... Oh my god, maybe it was literally tonight? It says 12.07. Oh shit, this could leg legit be like... Hot off the presses, dude. Okay, do you want to do you want to hear? I I've been waiting to read it. So Tom, do you want to do you want me to read it to you? Do you want me to describe it? It sounded good already. Legit, I was like, oh shit, because it's already working off some stuff we, we've kind of seen data mined for the end of Shadowlands. So could be spoilers, and that's why I'm like, oh, it incorporated that. Okay, okay, let me get to where I'm going first. Here, we're going to over... I'm gonna go to camera the time. Okay, we're gonna do Dragon Soul while I read the Dragon Isles. So this reads so good, they set up, like, the whole plot, okay, of, of, the, of the letter. They get, like, fully immersed in this. I was a dev on WoW until just last week. I've been with Blizz for over a decade and I've always wanted to do this. Here is the next expansion. Cause that's what a dev would do. This been with WoW. Obviously, this is legit. Obviously we've been working on this since before Shadowlands launched. Yeah. Yeah. We all know this. And the original schedule was to have it announced at BlizzCon 2021. As you know, no lie BlizzCon. Like, everyone knew we were gonna- Like I said, this is literally all shit that we know. As you know, live BlizzCons aren't possible right now. And the return, and here it is, the return of the Dragon Isles, RDI, was set up to be the main announcement at a February 2022 BlizzCon Online, before that was also cancelled. Other games were due to be revealed are way behind, so they shelved the event. Oh my god, I'm so surprised, Tom. This is so... No one has thought of these at all. Being why <laughs> it was canceled. <laughs> they're, like, it's fully in character, bro. They're, they're going... They're going... They want to set the mood. They want to tell you this stuff that really sets it up, you know? Stuff that no one thought of. Okay. Instead, there will be a standalone reveal in March, soon after 9.2 release. Also, no one, no one has speculated that yet, at all. Okay. Shadowlands ending. At the end of the Sepulchre of the first one, the Jailer is defeated, and the cinematic shows the heroes. With a little help from a certain Banshee, used the power of the Sepulchre of the, that Zobal was trying to harness against him, unmaking him to his original prototype state. So, no one would have thought of that. Yeah, dude, no, this is totally legit. There's, there's no way that they're playing off stuff that uh, is most likely going to happen. Sylvanas surrenders herself over to the judgment of Taronda again. There's, we literally just got this from spoils in 9.2. So just throwing it in. Blah, blah, blah. Judgment of Taron, who forgoes vengeance and demands only one thing, that the Ranger General spend her day helping all those she wronged and putting right everything she helped destroy. Sylvanas agrees, 
and vows to begin with Nathanos. So I read that earlier and I was like, bro, this is legit. Because it's literally what we all knew. This is all what we've, we've already been known. Alright, are you ready? Here we go. I'm gonna be real, I don't like the title of this. But it could work. It could. But it feels a little eh. Return of the Dragon Isles. To be real, I've never been to the Dragon Isles. I don't know why we're, like, it's the return of them. They're coming back to, like, hey, we're the Dragon Isles and we're back. Like, I would like Return of the Dragons. That sounds... But here, returning is an important concept of the X-Pack. We return to Azeroth. We return to some abandoned cities and the Dragon Isles make their dramatic return. We also hope players will see it as a return to form after the disappointing reception of Shadowlands. Because a dev would add that in. A dev who worked on Shadowlands would be like, yeah, dude, my shit's, I, I did horrible work. <laughs> I did horrible work. You know what? My work? Bad. That's what seals it for me. Alright. New continent. The Dragon Isles. Alright. I'm down for Dragon Isles. I've been thinking Dragon Isles too. This almost reads like what I would say. I, I wouldn't call it Return to Dragon Isles. I like the... I like the just Dragon Isles. You know, I like the one title expansions. Well, some of them. Legion. Well, I like Legion. Shadowlands has been okay. Shadowlands is great for collectors. I think... With horn options... No, what, one of the leaks just said Black Dragons, though, and that made it weird for me. I was like, what? Why would it just be Black Dragon? That just feels wrong. <laughs> like, you're not going to have them all? Like, what? That just seemed weird to me. Not that it can't just be Black I just feel like if we're going to rebuild the Dragon Flights, why would it just be the Black Dragons, is what I'm saying. Because people have been clamoring to play, like, Green Dragons, Bronze Dragons, Red Dragons. You know? That's what I'm saying. Okay, let's continue. Surprise. This is how it starts. Surprise. New Continent, the Dragon Isles. Surprise. Yeah, Zoval failed in his attempt to use the power of Azeroth's world soul to unmake the cycle of life and death. But he caused enough damage to rouse an ancient force. The slumbering Dragon Isles have awoken! Oh my god, they're alive? But yeah, like, to me, I think Shadowlands is alright. I thought Legion was good. Like, Legion is better than Shadowlands, but Shadowlands is great for collectors. And I think the main problem with Shadowlands, I'm going to be real with you, is how long it, it, it's been delayed. It's the COVID expansion. And let's just say COVID fucked up, slowed down game development a lot. It slowed down movie development a lot. It slowed down pretty much everything. And... Sorry if I'm too loud. But um, it slowed down pretty much everything. And that's why it has this downtime. I feel like the downtime is the issue with Shadowlands more so than unique problems. Because I feel like it's just like normal WoW stuff, but just slow to a, a crawl. And that's the biggest, that's the biggest cause of burnout. 
with the game. Alright, I just had to turn that down. It's loud in my ears. Oh yeah, dude. Oh I, yeah, that was the first one. Okay, let me get back to it. Let me get back to it. Sorry, I was distracted. Because I gotta go to a different page. I, I, have, I have chat and it on the same page, so. Bounce back and forth. But yeah, I, I just liked it being called the Dragon Isles. Seems you truly are Not this return one seems like eh. Okay, where was I? Okay, the slumbering Dragon Isles have awoken. How and why exactly the Isles have magically reappeared between Zandalar and the Maelstrom? See, that's the that's the weird. This okay, this ruined it for me. This literally ruined. Here, what? What? They're here. They're so they were here. They were supposed to be here. This is where they were. Literally in original WoW, they were right here, or something like right here. Why are they here all of a sudden? What? I just I'm unimmersed. I already already feeling like, eh? Don't work for me. Don't work for me. They're here. Why, why would you put it between here? Why would you put it between here? Look at this. Look at all this space. And here's the thing, the Ashara shit works like right here maybe. But they're saying like right here, really? Did you not open a world map? They were here. They were talked about being here. Okay, let's get back to it. I've already... I've already been, I've already lost faith in this. Dude, that's what I'm saying. They could put it on like down here or something. Cause we have the lower half of Azeroth. We have the other side of Azeroth. But I do think it's drag. I do think we're getting Dragon Isles, but I think they're gonna be here. Okay, so let's get back to the thing. Magically reappeared between Zandalar and the Maelstrom is explained in the leveling story, but the Isles themselves have been separated and untouched for thousands of years. Like I said, that I like, I'm gonna be real. Tally talked about this too, Taliesin talked about this too, but I do like this idea. And I've, I, I think I've thought about it too, you know? It, it's not like a radical idea, but imagining like, dragons cut off from other dragons because we don't see the dragon isles we hear about dragons talk about them but we don't see it ourselves a lot anywhere and you can imagine like buff dragons there that are like no we super dragons and i do like his idea of like dragons that are like no i'm not taking i'm not turning into a mortal why would I turn into a puny human when I'm a dragon? Fucking dragon supremacists. And they're the villains. You know, it's just down-to-earth dragons. They bad. We don't... Like, we roll up to the Dragon Isles and they're like, Hey, we don't like you, mortals. We're gonna beat you up. Though... If that's the case, why would the dragons bring us there? I don't know. There is something to be to see like a different kind of dragon, but then all of the other dragons coming around too. Like you have infinite, you have all them. So I'm down for that. Okay, let's get back to the leak. Okay, I keep getting distracted. Untouched for thousand years. As such, they are like a WoW version of the Galapagos Islands. I do kind of like that idea. A place where evolution took its own course, feared with incredible and exotic beasts. The giant cat mount on the store is one of the new creatures you'll see. Oh my god, I would have never thought that, Tom. The new cat mount is going to be in the new expansion? What? Next, they're going to say this bird is too. <gasps> oh my god. They've never done that before. They've never done that before. They've never done this before. Never have they ever done this. I'm so surprised.
as well as huge tortoises, birds of paradise, a new race of humanoids that are inspired by giant marine iguanas? That's legit cool. Who are feeding what they think is an old god in one of the old temples in their zone. One zone is full of penguins and of course the dragons. No, we need ducks. Why would they say penguins when we need ducks, Tom? Yeah, dude. Galacron. I'm going to be real with you. Galacron has been hyped up early on. But then the Hearthstone expansion where they brought him back. Legit cool. I love that Hearthstone expansion. And that would literally fit perfectly. We've never had ducks. That's why I want ducks. That's why everyone talks about ducks. There's no ducks in WoW. But that's what I'm saying. It's been done in Hearthstone and it was the hypest expansion. Why you not gonna do that in WoW is beyond me. Okay, let's go back. Let's go I'm going back to the leak to the to the leaks. These dragons come in different colors, but don't belong to any of the dragon flights. They are ancient and see themselves as superior to any other life on the planet. <gasps> Dude! They watched Taliesin's video too? <laughs> or on the same page. They refuse to lower themselves to taking human forms and look down on Rathian and the other dragons that do. I knew I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. Alright. It's a good one. I like it. But I just think it's funny because it's like... That's what we're all thinking. Is it what they're going to do? Legit because I like it. I kind of want them to do it. Yeah. They were feet... Yeah. And do what other dragons... Whereas some are able to be won over and become allies. The blood dragons of the Shattered Peak... The max level zone believe Azeroth can only be saved with themselves in charge. They plan to birth the world soul, which they call Mother. Oh my god, I wonder what they're going to say when they meet Mother. They are the main enemies in the first part of the X-Pack. There are new dragon models really detailed and gnarled looking and some are absolutely massive. I really don't like this. They have Galakrond. Why are they trying to birth the world soul? No, we have an amazing drag. See? People are like, I don't want cosmic stuff. And now they want them to birth Azeroth. What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't want cosmic stuff. But also, I want them to birth Azeroth. I just want Galakron. We have Galakron. Galakron is down to Earth. Or, in this case, down to Azeroth. Why are you gonna do this? This person's like, I just saw Eternals. I want Eternals. <laughs> I like Eternals too, but you know what? People are literally saying, Hey, how about we don't do exactly Marvel? And this person's like, let's do exactly Marvel. Dude, maybe they should hold the announcement till after April 1st. <laughs> if they do that, they could trick us all. <laughs> hold on, let me, let me kill this boss. Dude, that kills me though. People are like, I don't want cosmic stuff. Birthing Azeroth. That's cosmic. To me, that's cosmic. Because that's just like... Titan... That's cosmic. To me. Okay, let's go back to the leak. And they call it Mother. Alright, absolutely massive. Okay, we're moving on. Features. Are you ready? Features. Return to Teldrassil and the Undercity. This is the biggest feature of the expansion. Player housing. 
Tom, I never would have expected them to announce player housing right now. No. No. No one could think of them to add player housing. It's almost like this is legit a fanfic leak. I love it. This is they're 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 just like this is what I want. This is exactly what I want. It's going in my fanfic. I'm down though. I I le legit just want. There's some of this that I would change in mine, but this is legit funny. Oh, Tom, you missed it. Do you know what I want more than cross faction? I want cr cross country. Why can't I have all my NA stuff on EU? Why can't I just make an EU account with all my stuff and play with you, Tom? You know? Why can't all the cool stuff I have unlocked carry over? Would you rather cross faction or cross country? The 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 cross server bounder the. I don't know what you call that. I don't know what it's called. Region. Cross region. Would you rather cross faction or cross region? Play. No, no, no. I'm, hey, I'm down for both. But I'm curious as to what people would want more. But I'm definitely down for both. talk to throw here we go let's get back to the leak all right player housing players help to rebuild and repopulate the two cities in a system that is comparable to player housing and ESO so then it wouldn't be just those two cities or they're saying how it works ie there are set plots which are phased for each player the first location is given free as part of a questing as part of the questing dude I've seen videos on this. I've literally seen videos on this. And the other more impressive and meaningful locations can be unlocked with special achievements tied to rating. Myth they watched the Soul So Breezy video, bro. They watched Taliesin and Soul. Because I've legit seen these videos. I have been busy. Mythic Plus, PvP, etc. The player fills them with trophies from boss kills, weapon transmog on their weapon racks, and furniture that is made by crafters. New profession, carpentry is a big part of this. And in general, all professions in Return to Dragon Isles, Return of Dragon Isles, have a ton of the new player housing items they can make. Apart from cooking fires and anvils, etc., all furniture is purely aesthetic. There are no mines or herb gardens or banks available like in the Wode Garrison. But I love. Literally, the one thing I want back from the garrisons is the herbs and mining. The farm aspect of the garrison was legit the best part. And the stables. The stables was amazing. For a mount collector, the stables was a beautiful building. Oh, I get to show off all my mounts? Don't mind if I do. Tom, you can't tell me you don't like the staples. I feel like they can do a good house and include some stuff from the garrison. There is some good stuff about the garrison. As the expansion goes on, so the two cities are so the two cities are rebuilt. The new designs and assets look amazing. The idea is that in subs subsequent expansions and maybe later in Return of Dragon Isles, other locations can be made available as and when. Currently penciled in are Boralus, Bizarre Lore, and Grizzly Hills. Dude, no one would pick Grizzly Hills. I heard no one loves that zone, or that zone music. What? Also, Boralus and Zuldazar? Nope. Why would those be picked? 
surprised. Lots of zones are being updated in the old world with assets that are being made for player housing, so trees and buildings in places like L1 Forest, Westfall, Asheville, Eastern Plague, and such there will find themselves with them, what we are calling internally soft updated. Dude. They're so immersed. They're so immersed. What we call internally. As a WoW dev. Soft update. They are immersed, bro. Immersed. In this character. That they made. New race and class. <gasps> bro, wait till you see the new race and class, though. No one would see this coming. There are not Twitter accounts dedicated. Legit dedicated to this class. This is a surprise. New race and class, Dark Rangers. I love how they're doing it as a new race and class. It's not just a class, it's a race. God, this one's so good. Okay. Dark Rangers. Horde Dark Rangers are red eyed elves you know and love. Alliance get forsaken night elves that were raised at Dark Shore. Two new specs ranged and melee. Okay. Fascinating. Another two spec class. Based on high mobility and simple fast rotations. The real twist is that each spec has different abilities available to use depending on whether they have leather or male armor equipped. It is done. Our power now resides within the dragon. So they're gonna be taking two Tom, did you want a sixth leather wearer? Tom, did you want a sixth leather wearer? Hold on, is it six is it is it five monk? Demon Hunter, Rogue, Druid. Is it five? Do you want a fifth leather wearer? Just because. Let's not just make him. Let's not just make it a male class slash race. Let's make it be able to be a leather wearer. Or a male wearer. No! You know what? Maybe this is legit, because that is a horrible idea, and people say Blizzard is bad. Maybe they're right, because if that's legit, that is horrible. That is fucking horrible. Why? <laughs> Why would you? Player, you decide. Are you leather or male? I guess they would all decide male because they have too much competition for leather. Hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and be male so I get gear. For the male stacks, some class diversity. Okay, Tom, I'm a little bit more sure of the leak status of this. <laughs> okay, okay, I need to pull it together. <sighs> Let's finish this. On whether they have leather or male armor equipped. God, oh my god, that hurts me. With Undercity being repopulated and rebuilt, the Forsaken have lots of secondary story focused in RDI. And the undead Night Elf Rangers being welcomed back to Tell Drizzle is a big plot point and mirrors Tyranda's merciful actions towards Sylvanas. You know what? This is remind like with the Eternals reference and this being RDI, it's just making me think RDJ and I'm like, is Iron Man gonna show up? Is RDJ voice in a character? <laughs> is Robert Downey Jr. gonna be in this? Okay, okay, here we go. Dude, Tom, are you ready for the new raid? 
new raid, the Shattered Peaks. Stunning locate the SP SP. That's what it'd be shortened to. Stunning location built around the jagged mountain of the Blood Dragons zone. Blood dragons are hu huge and hate mortals, but they also love gold and have huge fiery refineries. Dude, I just imagine, like, okay, since they like to watch other, like, videos, there was that Jailer 200 IQ Taliesin video, which I actually like and kind of agree with from my, my in my lore perspective, that fits for me. But, um, hold on, what was it? Oh my god, there was a reference here. Hold on. They've been watching Lord of the Rings, but hold on, what was it? Oh my god. Oh my god, I had a point and then I just lost it. You know what? I forgot. There was a connection, and I thought of the video, and then I went back to do something in WoW, and I forgot. What did I just read? They love gold. I don't know. I don't know. I, there was a reason I brought it up, and then I forgot the reason. There was a reason. If I remember it, I'll bring it up. All I know is that I watch a lot of WoW videos in my downtime. Okay, let's get back to the leak. They love gold. Oh! I just... He talked about how the Jailer, like, as a villain, isn't like... A great villain. I, I would agree with that. He's not like the coolest villain by far, by a long shot. I'm, I'm more temperate with my opinion. I'm just like, eh, it's whatever. You know, but, but you know how he's like cliche? So maybe for the Blood Dragons, they need to go cliche in a different direction. And I imagine like a gold member dragon. And he's just like, I like gold. And I was like, hey, that villain will sound different than pitiful mortals. We have a dragon being like, I like gold. Would you like a pancake and a smoke? That kind of shit. That'd be funny as hell. Oh, yeah, that dude. No, he can't turn into a human form. I was thinking of like gold member, the dragon. If you know Austin Powers, you, you may not. I don't know. I, I don't know how old you are, Tom. All I know is that's what it made me think of. We get a villain that's meme, memeified. That's not the the good old pitiful mortals. I will destroy you. You know, it's something different. It's a little different, you know? Okay, let's get back to the leak. Let's get in topical. Okay. All right, all right. Let's get back. Let's get back. Raid. There may just be a creeping fell influence hiding under the surface there, too. See, this is what I'm talking about. In the Hearthstone expansion with Galakron, he has a fell infused variant. He has a venom infused. He has, like, these different infused variants. And I think in the original book, I do want to read that one book with Galakron in it. But they talk about how he has like necrotic powers to necromatic powers and stuff. And I'm, and I'm wondering if he was just like eating all this magical force and that's why he became so big. So he could have like fell, void, uh... Oh, the green? Oh, the f I got you, yeah. I don't want just felt. See, that's what I'm talking about. It'd be like, uh, death magic, fell magic, uh, void magic, uh, the, the shaman version had elemental magic, so give him the dragon elemental magics, that would be cool as hell. And maybe, because these are blood dragons, maybe give them blood magic. Or some something. That'd be cool. Creeping felon. Uh, yeah, fell influence hiding under the surface there too. One fight sees the sky filled with hundreds of dragons. 
Dude, that just literally makes me think of the intro of Descent of Dragons. It's literally the expansion, but no Galakrond. The final boss fight of the raid is Hai Prophet Zubika, the ancient ruler of the Isles, which sets up the more cosmic 10.1. They just leaned into it. They just leaned into it. <laughs> they just, yeah, also unknown villain, whatever. Brand new villain, just like the Jailer. Which, you can do a brand new villain good. Zubika. Hey man, I may not be saying it right, but that's how it's looking like. The ancient rule of the. Hey man, I didn't write this stuff. But uh, okay, dude, people literally saying I don't want cosmic. Blizzard being like, we're going back to Azeroth. And this person's like, yeah, we go back to Azeroth. One patch. Now back to Cosmic. I like the Cosmic stuff too. But it's supposed to alternate. And this person's like, no, we need it now. One, Here you go, you're back at Azeroth. Next patch, no, back to Cosmic. What the frick? What the frick, Tom? Time walking. All time walk. Oh, here's one. Dude, no one ever wants this. No one would ever want to add this. Here you go. Time walking. All time walking dungeons and raids, and there are a lot more being made available, are permanently open and scaled to level 50. New level cap is 70. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so surprised. Time walking tokens can now be used to buy just about every transmog set, weapon, and raid drop mount. Oh, dude. Now they got me. So you're telling me I can buy Invincible instead of pray that it drops? There are some exceptions to this. There is no Invincible on the vendor. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Fuck this expansion. Fuck you. This writer knew exactly what I wanted. They fucked this dev. This dev. <laughs> knew exactly what I wanted was like, no, 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 no. You don't get the one you want, bro. No, 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 no. You still gotta farm Invincible. Fuck you. All mounts on vendors, except Invincible. That's fair. That's cool. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you missed it, Tom. I was literally... They were saying a mount vendor so you can buy mounts from past expansions. And I was like, oh my god, I can finally get Invincible. And then in the next sentence, they're like, except Invincible. But Tusk of Manoroth are currently planned to be. Every two weeks, a different expansion will be the focus of an event which gives extra rewards for completing. Oh my god. It's almost like this person was like, I want time walking every week. And no one else. Oh, sh. I forgot to kill the thing. I forgot to kill the damn thing. I'm so bad at this game. I'm so bad at this. But they're like, time walking every two weeks, it's time walking. And it's like, yes, everyone wants this. But also, they were like, armor vendors for old transmog and mounts, except invincible. Because they hate me, I guess. And my lack of invincible. Alright, let me do this right real quick. And then I can get back to the, the leak. Alright. Dragon scale gear. 
The main max level progression system, players are given a dragon scale from each of the five dragon flights, each of which awards a new ability. The scale fits into a new special armor slot on the UI and can be leveled through currency gained from all gameplay activities, even crafting. Only one scale can be equipped at a time. The black dragon... This is legit sounding like essences. Only one scale can be equipped at the time. The black dragon scale is a PvP ability. The green scale is a healing survival ability. I'll be honest, this still needs a bit of work, but it's kind of the thing the beta and player feedback should really help with. Dude. What? Essences. E Essences round two. And this person's like so into character. Yeah, that's when the beta would solve these. The beta's gonna solve these glaring issues of it being Essences round two. And it linked to armor again. It's literally like, yo, let's Azeroth, Azerite armor, round two. I didn't mind Azerite armor that much, but it definitely was like, out of everything to like, bring back. That? Out of anything in that expansion that, that was like, cool as frick, we all know it was Corruption. I would rather a new armor slot, like more rings maybe. There are of course new dungeons, everyone is especially excited about. Oh my, they are so in character. Oh my god. Excited about the ravenous fold. A descent into the old god temple at the center of the Iguandian stones. Iguandian stone zone. Imagine jumping into the Salak Pit. The Salak Pit. Oh, it's... They spelled Sarlacc wrong. Okay, they just spelled Sarlacc wrong. The Sarlacc Pit from Star Wars. But it's full of Nazoth tentacles and there's a major lore surprise at the bottom. What, did he's back? Did he still kicking? One thing I can say is that the team has been having a lot of fun working on uh, Return of Dragon Isles. After Shadowlands has been awesome to make stuff in Azeroth again, yet we're gonna go cosmic again, apparently. Feels like a Warcraft expansion, but you just said it was gonna go cosmic! Oh my goodness, if that makes sense. I'm kind of expecting to get lost in the flood of fake leets right now, and that's fine. I look for forward to people coming back when the expansion is announced. Okay, well, I'm going to clip this segment, and that was uh, me reacting to the leak. I got to I gotta get... Shin oh my god, Tom. What'd you think of that leak? What'd you think? Tell me, Tom, what are your thoughts? There's some good stuff, and there's some really cringe... There's, a, there's some cringe, and there's some good stuff that a lot of people have talked about that I'm down for, dude. I'm down for houses. I'm down. You know, I'm down for the Dragon Isles. I'm not down for uh, Essences Round 2. I mean, Essences were alright. I don't... You know what I would like to unlock? Dude, if they have a mount vendor for all the old raid mounts and Invincible isn't on it, I'm quitting WoW. I'm quitting. I'm quitting right then and there. I can buy every single raid mount except Invincible. Flips disc. <laughs> 